Right, just a quick update video. Um, this is my Myford ML7 ER20 tool post milling fixture, and this is the Mark II version. I've rebuilt it, and I've made it now um, almost completely out of bright mild steel, which is 16 millimeter thick top and bottom, and it's 50 millimeter wide. On the front of the assembly, I now have uh, three um, eight millimeter Allen bolts holding it onto the top of the tool post here. I have left open holes at the top to get at these two and this one here now is a long bolt that goes right the way down through and into the tool post and I've put grub screws the other side to actually lock the ER20 housing into the tool post. And to make this one I used the Mark 1 version of the tool, the aluminium one and I put a strengthening um, post in the top here um, just to do the milling on this one here. I've milled a 10 millimeter wide slot down through there so that I can unbolt the um, drill part here and slide it backwards. I can take the drill off, so loosen this one off. Under the drill and slide the whole assembly back there. Or I can actually slide the um, housing complete with the drill backwards for putting longer drills in the um, ER20 collet chuck. I've made up a larger diameter spindle part uh, for the drill chuck to grip on um, in the back of the ER20 collet chuck housing and that one's much better for locking up on that round diameter. I did have a hexagon one in there but sometimes when you lock up the chuck you can lock up on the points by mistake so it's much better to have a nice large round um, spindle. And that's the two 8mm stainless steel grub screws locking the housing into the tool post on the side there. And I made all these changes because I wanted a much more rigid setup so that I can actually do fly cutting on the lathe. I can now do fly cutting on stainless steel, get excellent finishes. And I'll show you it doing a piece of aluminium now.
So I'm really pleased with the upgrade and the results. I wouldn't have been able to do the fly cutting with the aluminium one. There was a bit of flex in that one. This 16mm bright mild steel one is about the best I think I'll get. And that's because the fixture is now absolutely solid. There's no movement in it at all, no matter how hard I push on it. And the great thing is, again, is that I can use the ordinary electric drills to do um, milling work like that with the fly cutter, drilling through bar, doing indexed holes or um, flats for spanners very quickly and easily, just putting this setup on the lathe. And it's really quick just to take off of the lathe again and put up the ordinary tool post for doing ordinary turning work.